Brown rice sushi is terrible and there is science to back it up. <laughs> so I'm going to start opinion, this man. because Tim it's likes brown science. rice sushi. <laughs> It It'd is be boring science. if we both had the same. It opinion. is science, and I'm going to tell you why. Tell me about this. Is gastronomic chemistry, Mister? <laughs> so brown rice has become kind of a popular health food staple. It is more nutritious than white rice, and is way more nutritious than sushi rice, which contains salt, sugar, and vinegar, uh, which makes it so delicious and such a treat. I will say personally, uh, but it does create an overall different product when you're looking at sushi, and the levels of why actually do go down to science. Uh, rice, which comes in 40,000 varieties, uh, has two starches, amylose and ami... No, let me try it again. The problem is rice, uh, which there are 40,000 varieties of, but we use a few different ones for sushi, and they all contain two starches, amylose and amylopectin, and the ratio of which uh, determines what the rice is like when it's cooked. So long grain varieties like basmati and jasmine are high in amylose and will be firm after being cooked. Mm -hmm. uh, short grained rice, which are used in sushi, are high in amylopectin and become uh, soft. And then because of its lower amylopectin content, uh, brown rice remains very firm. So this is a textural experience. When you're eating sushi, um, it's a, the ideal is that the rice and the, the fish would melt in your mouth as one. But when you're eating with brown rice, it will not melt as one. You're still going to be ch chomping on that brown rice, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm, know, that mm -hmm. grainy texture afterwards. And it's, it creates a different result. And yet, brown rice sushi is still popular, despite some people thinking it's terrible, despite those people being me. Um, and that goes on to, well, it goes away from science and goes down to, I suppose, personal uh, tastes. Cultural and, and personal tastes, which is, you know, you can view sushi as. It has already reached its zenith. You dream of sushi with Jiro, and it is, it's, um, this is the perfection of what it's supposed to be, but perhaps on a different level of this is fusion or maybe evolved cuisine or changing cuisine over time with trends. Um, you know, maybe people view it that way, and that's why they would want to eat it and, you know, whatever value you get from the melting of fish and rice is uh, not as tantamount as the health benefits of brown rice. Is that where you're leaning? You're nodding. Okay, well, no, first of all, <laughs> nothing that you've said is wrong. All Everything that you said was scientifically accurate, and if you look at the history of sushi and what it's supposed to look like, what it's supposed to taste like, the experience that you're supposed to have from a cultural standpoint, how it was invented, you're right. The the, mm -hmm. the white rice with the, the salt and the vinegar and the melting in your mouth and uh, taking a back seat to the flavor of the fish, those are all correct things. Mm -hmm. That said, um, cuisines taste, and there's more than one factor than just uh, taste and how it's supposed to be. Um, the added health benefits of brown rice, I think, are very important. Mm -hmm. Someone who is trying to eat more healthy um, could prick brown rice and would still enjoy it, even though it doesn't quite melt in your mouth or even though it has a stronger taste than the white rice does. I think I view it more as a treat. Um, and right. So if, I would just eat for if, lunch from the grocery store. If you were going to eat a big piece of chocolate cake, I would encourage you to get the richest, butteriest, most unhealthy, fudgy chocolate cake that you could find and enjoy it to the maximum. It's Don't funny that you said that because I just made a dark chocolate banana bread with uh, Greek yogurt and I like it, okay. but most people would not like it. That's good. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, if you also look at that, it's there's different kinds of sushi like we have american sushi which has you know tempura shrimp and maybe cream cheese and and different you know branches of this uh, root cuisine and american chinese food is very very different than traditional chinese yes. food and you can enjoy it and not feel bad about it because it's a different thing we had you this discussion um on the young turks they brought me on weirdly to talk about <laughs> um, asian food a vietnamese food because okay. i'm half vietnamese okay. and it was like it was someone from bon appetit had made this video of a white guy explaining how to eat pho and they were you know it's it's not the traditional way but my answer was i don't care what you do to your soup because I like uh, bastardized Mexican and Chinese cuisine. It's, it's, a different, it's a different thing than it started as and that it should be at its heart. But I honestly don't care if that's your personal preference in the end. 
Yeah. If even if that's you know, you could view it as cultural appropriation, or you could view it as not that, as what we said earlier about changing cuisine over time. It doesn't offend me personally, but if it offends you, that's that's fine. That's yeah. fine too. I'm not bothered by that either. I don't think sushi or any cuisine is this uh, you know sacred thing that we should hold up as one culture's, and there's only one way to make it, and that everyone who doesn't enjoy it like that is wrong. And I think there's other factors to consider when when you're eating something. If if you go on what tastes best alone, you'd cook only with butter. Uh, no. All the time, everything. Everything tastes no. better when it's fried no. in butter. Oh my God, Southern no. cooking no. is so good all the time. No. But we weigh those no. things against cooking <laughs> instead with maybe coconut oil or olive oil because it's better for you. It doesn't taste nearly as good as things that are fried in butter. No. But Disagree, Paula Dean. Um, <laughs> but I think you weigh it comes the pros down and the cons, to so. personal taste. As I said off the top, brown rice sushi is disgusting. To it's me, fine. it tastes it's perfectly. Fine. It tastes bad to me. And um, you're, I don't, you're right. I prefer the white rice sushi. And I don't want but to cook things But if I'm trying to eat a little butter. healthier, we'll eat, we'll eat Because I was sushi. lactose intolerant as a child, so I naturally... Oh, well, then your opinion on butter doesn't well, count at all. Well, everyone has a thing <laughs> for a thing <laughs> is what I'm getting at. Anyway, I'm furious like. about Do brown like, rice. <laughs> Audience, is brown rice sushi okay? And how or how not, please let us know below in the comments. And please like and subscribe for more fighting.